Thomas reads, Plants and Animals Change Over Time. Daddy, why is Fido getting old? Mommy, why can't I stay a kid forever? Sometimes kids ask questions that can catch you off guard. Having a talk about the necessity of change and the circle of life can be difficult. That's why I've written my Changes Duet to help open up little minds to understanding the nature of change. Meant for educational purposes, but still an enjoyable, light, and colorful read, Plants and Animals Change Over Time explains the circle of life in the simplest terms. It follows the life of a seedling and an unhatched egg to full maturity and beyond. You may also want to check out Land Changes Over Time to learn how the world is reshaped around us. Plants and Animals Change Over Time by Toy Thomas. This book is dedicated to all the educators of the world who've ever had a difficult time finding material to help their students grasp a concept. Plants change over time. First, a seed is planted in the soil. Weeks later, a sprout comes out to breathe the fresh air. A few weeks after that, a lovely plant has blossomed. In time, the plant grows old and starts to change. Soon, the plant wilts and falls to the ground. One day, the plant dies and becomes like the soil. The soil will now help new seeds grow. Animals change over time. This little egg stays warm and waits to hatch. Weeks later, the egg hatches and a little chick comes out to play. A few weeks later, the grown bird is ready to fly around. The bird eats seeds to grow strong. In time, the bird grows old and starts to change. One day, the bird dies and becomes like the soil. The soil will now help more seeds grow. New seeds will help feed more chicks. Plants and animals change over time. The end. Thanks for watching Toy Read Plants and Animals Change Over Time.